Hello everyone, this is Ice Blaze. Today, we are on event 4 of the Ducky Tournament, Bowling. You see, uh, Hermie is going to be our first competitor, and you'll kind of see how it works. So, drop the marble in, and it goes through the little track of setup, it rolls down, and it hits the dominoes down. Let's see, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 points. For Hermie the Crab right here. So very good job, Hermie. Next we have the Angel Duck. Let's see how well she does. She bowls the marble. It circles around the thing. It gains some speed. And it's going down. And it knocks a considerable of them out. Nine! Angel Duck just barely outdid Hermie by one point. We will have these dominoes reset up for our next competitor. And for each competitor, the dominoes are set up just a slightly different way to keep the randomness of it. You can see their opponents are over there in the stands. And it's time for Pumpkin to roll. Oh, the marble got a little boost from herself, but it hit zero of them. Actually, it did hit one of them, it looks like. One that was apparently forgotten to be put up. And so we will count that as one point for the pumpkin duck. Oh, and it looks like a rogue duck seemed to want to roll it back on. They were not very happy that the pumpkin duck only got one point, it seems. Uh, we will not uh, disqualify the pumpkin duck for that, but it looks like there are some very unhappy fans out there. But this one's going to be very similar, because not too many marbles were, uh, or I mean dominoes, were tipped over. Let's go Freddy the Frog. And the marble is on its way. Second chamber. Third chamber. And, oh, it looks like it gets stuck there. We will have a redo for that. Let's do the redo really quickly. And if he fails on this redo, he does not get another shot at it. And he does get some down. Uh, he gets about four points, which is about the second lowest score. Only uh, behind Pumpkin Duck, or ahead. I should say, is next, and I want to let you know, guys, I am not picking favorites here, it's just however I can set the dominoes out without them falling before the collision. Oh, and it looks like she got one more, he got one more in the very last, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight marbles, not too bad. We have Tweety Bird next, and she's very light, so she doesn't really tip the scale at all. Let's see if that does her an advantage. Second chamber, third, along the line, and it's almost a complete strike. She only misses two for a total of ten points. That's got to be one of the best scores we've had so far. So it looks like that uh, lightness really did help her because it made more of a slant to the entire core. Blake, he brought his own bowling ball because uh, he doesn't like the color. Uh, he doesn't like the weight of the other ones. Let's see if it works for him. And... Oh, it's uh, another false start. Uh, let's redo that one. Alright, remember, you're only allowed one false start. So, if he doesn't get it on this one, it's going to have to be a fail. It's going. Second chamber, third chamber, and almost a false start, but he pulls through. And I think that will be a strike. I think that's every single domino. So that will be 12 points for Blake. Good job. It looks like bringing his own bowling ball... Or marble really helped. Good job, Blake. Duck is our next competitor, and after seeing that performance, she's considered, or he's considered bringing his own marble next time. Second, third, and it goes down, and it does pretty well. Uh, but oh, there is one that fell on its side. I do not think we're gonna count that one. So uh, that would be twelve minus nine. So. Or 12 minus 3 would be 9 points for Crazy Duck. But she'll always wonder now, what if she brought her own marble? And it might not be so bad for them to bring their own marbles, you know? We eliminate the touching of hands. And these are your competitors, and these are their points in each of the events. Event 1, Event 2, Event 3, and uh, this event, and then you'll see... They're grand total. So good job, competitors. As we did last time, we're going to double both of their scores for this event. Um, so that will probably give Crazy Duck 18. Um, yeah, you'll see the scores on there right now. So 
I will catch you next time in the next video. This has been Ice Plays. Please stay tuned in to find out who wins the Ducky Tournament. Slash Crab Slash Frog. Bye. And just one last side note. That Pumpkin and the Duck and the Angel Duck were actually both at 50 points. Before this competition, and this competition separated them a huge deal. Now Angel Duck's at like 70 points, and Pumpkin's at 52, and it cost her like 7 places. So this was very huge for the two of them.